Daniel, who is this? <laughs> he said, don't know. I love that. That's me. That's me. That was you. That, that was me, yeah. That was you, not you. Yeah. Yeah. No man wants to be here like this. No. Yeah, I don't want to be like this. That no. was, was. Was. But when I came up to see you upstairs, um, and I'd, I had a pain in the chest, and I was seeing the heart specialist the next day, you went like that and said, don't bother, You're, you've got nothing wrong. Anyhow, when I went to the heart specialist, he said, you've got a strong heart, hey. strong pipes, <laughs> and you don't need... Shut Jesus! What gave you coffee? He said Jesus gave him confidence. And that was why he came to his church. His church. I know God's here, but this church gave me the confidence because I've said it before, I'll say it again, and I'll never stop saying it. There is power in this church. And it's alive. And even in the praise. You feel something washing over you, even through the praises. So it's an amazing place, and the anointing is here. God's, God's glory is in this church. When a book is coming, I mean, a film is coming about him. But, you know, it's always good to believe. This is the confidence. This is the confidence. We have in him. This is the confidence. Proofs. What about the ear? Remember the devil in the ear? The devil, do you remember? The devil. Yeah. He, yes. Big thing growing in the ear. It was growing something in his ear. You got the picture. <laughs> you keep saving me. I've got that. <laughs> you saved me on everything. Thank you. George. We, we, we need to sit down and talk in the church. Three chairs. Well, let's talk. Let's talk about Jesus. It's not a normal service. Hey! Oh, power. Jesus. Power belongs to you. Oh, power belongs to you. Lord in heaven. Jesus! Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. It's good to talk. It's good to talk. That was a boy. Wow. This is my son who was uh, shot to death in um, his home. So he said this was his son. Yeah, gun, this one. His son that was gone down and I've, to death before he had that issue. But I've, I was trying to catch the killer. Sorry, catch the killer and the man who paid to have him killed. And okay. I'd already got very near to doing that. And um, that's when I collapsed. So perhaps Jesus was saying, don't kill the people. 
is so clear now. Let's ask Nena. Do tell us the story about him. The story. Well, I've known David since David was seven seven years old, and Danny's family was a close family. Um, he had his wife Kay, who also died in tragic circumstances. The wife too. His wife died. She was. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, my wife was uh, stabbed to death. Um, Imagine the son was shot and no, the wife no, before. was stabbed to death. No, before the son. One man. Before the son got killed, my wife was stabbed to death by, <clears throat> can't say who, family member. And she bled to death in my arms. And, and I had to try and save the person who did it in case he threw himself out the window. So, so that was that one. That's past, do you understand? Then the boy died, died he got shot. So, then I just wanted an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, it said. So I wanted to kill them both, the, the man who paid for the killing and the shooter. But anyhow, since then, the shooter died of pneumonia and the man who's paid for the killing is not that good anyhow. So, you know, but... George, do you hear what a man can go through? This man will have is equally go without this my daughter. If not for the for the say that this one knows where to go. Let me have that picture. Because let me have that picture. That means the devil was after this fa family. This is the man. They wait for the wife. And after the wife is dead, they wait for the son. And he too, he was say well, he will revenge. And they wait after him too. He might not be gone, but it was equally attacked. And this man was a cool man for three months. If not for the help of her, she locate where God is. That's why I said all power belongs to God. And there is nothing God cannot do. Amen. So, you see, can you explain to the world, not only the church now, people are watching. They will be seeing that than them. I don't believe that this man could still be alive. I believe because I used to do hospital chaplaincy for five years as well and on a voluntary basis. So I prayed for people before in hospitals and they had come around from, from bad things. Um, I stopped doing that because of the MRSA and I've always visited people if I've known someone from the shop and they've asked me to go and pray for people in the hospital and obviously Danny is very close to my father, they've been best friends for over 40 years and I was really, really upset, it was like a family member hearing that Danny was in a coma so I went to the hospital and kept praying and nothing was happening and from speaking in the shop with my father and his friend Peter they said that they were planning his funeral because one of one of Danny's family members he wouldn't have been able to adjust his mind to even think along them lines so they asked you they, they asked you the family to go up a PM yeah for Danny funeral. yeah yeah so and, and the, from coming here for the prayers for the all-night prayer service, to having the juice, the cloth and everything blessed by you. I asked you for a miracle that night and said I'd come for a miracle. And God answered the prayers and putting the cloth on Danny's head, he opened his eyes up within the one minute. People, so, yeah. <laughs> people may not understand what the cloth is. It's the motto. He brought the motto. Can you please explain to the church? Because you are in the church. What is the matter? God is it God? Well, the anointing can be transferred because it's in the Bible that the anointing was also transferred to cloth. So when the anointing is transferred, when you carry that anointing, it goes with you wherever that you go. The issue that sometimes I think people have is... They think that things that happened in the Bible just happened in the Bible. So they think that miracles 
like that don't really happen today. But you have come to help to show us that those miracles in the Bible are not just Bible stories, that they happen and they can happen today the same as they happened yesterday and forever. Because we believe that Jesus has not gone to live, that Jesus has not changed, that is still the Jesus of yesterday, of Lazarus, that is still the Jesus of that man. Shout Jesus! Jesus! The Bible says we should be renewed by the transforming of our minds and we are corrupted in school and in our community. The society, the BBC, all of the channels, they are corrupting our minds. We have to come and be renewed in our minds. And faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Amen. Church Jesus. Daddy, what happened is Nina had faith. She was praying. She was at the hospital. She was praying at his bedside with people from church. She was a Christian. She believed in God. She believed in prayer. Nothing had happened, nothing had changed. He was still in a coma. It got to the extent the doctor said that 48 hours they were going to turn off the life support. Nothing had changed. He wasn't improving. They were just keeping him going. She then remembered when she came to this church before and she said, I know a place, wait for me. I know where I can go, that I can have some hope because she still believed. <laughs> Daddy, she came here and she was even looking for you. But the question is that, how can you believe? My desire was for Danny to live. I really, really wanted him to live. And I, know. I, I just kept thinking, no, no, because it's just another tragic, tragic... Again, come in again. Yeah, tragedy. Because the wife gone, yeah, the, the son, son gone, and other, now Dana is gone. Then, then I said, no sons, way. Yeah, another two sons will probably follow very quickly. Continue. <laughs> Daddy, she came here and she was looking... She came here. Yeah. She came to VPA. Church Jesus. Assembly in Barking, London. Amen. Wow. <laughs> Church, there's no way in this planet world you can showcase God like this. Remember, remember, people can talk is cheap. Yeah. Anybody mind. can talk. Yes. But show us the words. Show us the words. <laughs> show us the evidence. But yeah. they do stand shall follow them. Yeah. Do you believe? Yeah. That's why we are saying this. Yeah. Go ahead. So when she came, it just so happened that it was one of our Friday all night services. She was a bit early because she didn't know it was for all night. So she was looking for you, but you hadn't arrived. So. But look at who they are looking for. Mm -hmm. If you are looking for me, let me, let me that picture. Let me see that picture. How can you see you are looking for me? Me, Pastor Alice. If I see a man like this and you are looking for me, I will, call, I will tell you, my friend, go and bury the man. Yeah. Me, I will tell you, go and bury this man. Because he's already gone. Yes. So tell me, that's one. Stop looking for pastor. Look for God. Yeah. Wow. Stop looking for man. But look for God. Unless yeah. So they now told her she should just wait that you will come. Come on, you boy man, come. Come, Peter, Peter, come. Peter, come. Come. Stay uh, here. Let's hear. So they said that she should just wait and you will come. But as it happened, she didn't have chance to see you. And she was even thinking she couldn't stay for all night. It's too much. But the friend who she came with just encouraged her and said, there's no point in going back now. What are you going to do anyway? Nothing is going to change. We might as well stay. <laughs> because obviously, apart from clubbing, there's nothing that we do all night, is there? <laughs> yes, we just should. 
It's true, there's nothing else we do apart from clubbing. Let's hear. So she persevered and waited. And then it was just when we were all lining up and she was hearing all the testimonies that she'd bought her green mantle, the oil and the Ribena. And she just got that courage to say, no, I'm just going to queue on the line and ask daddy if he can bless the mantle and the anointing to take back. And honestly, daddy, the thing of it is, it was... Want some few minutes, that's all. You lifted the mantle. You can see it when you watch on YouTube. You I'll let the father over to you. Yes, come back with testimony. But if I've seen this picture, <laughs> I will not say father over to you. No. You man. <laughs> she just said, oh, I need some prayers for my uh, father's friend who's in hospital. You just lifted and said, Lord, over to you. This is the only way that they can believe in you oh. <laughs> and truly that's what Nina's prayer was exactly if you listen to what was said Nina's exact prayer was that was how the family would believe that and you didn't know that no that was your prayer exactly you said this is how they can believe that was Nina's prayer exactly was that she wanted that to show them that they could believe Even the father of Nina has come here Yes. Then I has brought a lot of what yeah, as a result of what has happened. Yes. What, what am I saying? Unless yeah, it's sufficient. <laughs> so she now had that confidence and that boldness. She marched straight down to the hospital. She said, even on her way going there, it's like the path was cleared. Nobody stopped her from going there. You know what we're like. You I have know, visiting times and all this. Nothing was in her way. The doctors didn't stop her. Everything was cleared for her to just go. She placed the mantle on his head and within one minute, he opened his eyes. Daddy, she said she'd been there before. She'd been by his bedside. She prayed before and nothing had happened. Hey! That means there is where to go. That means there is where to go for this to happen. Do you know what I call Peter out? You know, this is demonstrating the power of God. Now the microphone. Peter, tell the word what used to be and now I do not love God now. I used to be bisexual. I was greedy. I had men and women. <laughs> when he was not in Christ. Let's hear. When the Lord arrested me, he put me inside on a remand so that I had nothing else to do but read the Bible. Wow. And how are you feeling now? I just love the Lord. Yeah. I just love the Lord. I just love the Lord. Chat. Shh. That is my portion. Don't love me. Just love the Lord. This is showcasing. Come, daughter, come. This is showcasing, showcasing God at attention. This is showcasing. How were you when you came to this church? Let the come, is working. This is audience. Ah, what was your stage? Jesus! Yes. I had stage three, stage four, cancer. What is stage four? La the last what stage. Is, is that school? Yeah. Advanced, daddy, it's advanced. So advanced. if you have stage one of cancer, it's just in one organ. If you have stage two, it's spread to another. Stage three to another. By the time it's stage four, it's spread all over. All over. Hey. hey! And what now? Finish it. The blood of Jesus. Church, this is what I call, you know, I can't bring people here as at them, and you will hear what God is doing in their life. The dead one, life came. The one that was interested in man and woman, life came. The one that was having stage four, casa, life came.
So even you that is talking now, how do you how do you feel about Jesus? Daddy, Jesus is absolutely awesome, mind blowing, fantastic, wonderful, amazing. You cannot see those things. Did they rise and not love him? You oh, cannot see things that is happening and not love him. So if you are watching me all over the globe, it will demonstrate his life. Is power in your life, Amen. and I don't know who was educative, Amen. but today you are walking out. He said, "Where Daniel walk out from the dead, you will walk out." He said, "Where Peter walk out, you will walk out." He said, "Where that woman of that was not die, cast that walk out, you will walk out." Church Jesus. Amen. That's one. That's why when I say let's worship God, it's worth worshiping. It what appearing in his presence because we have seen with our eyes that size have failed, men have failed, prophets they have failed, everybody have failed. Only God cannot fail. Put the microphone. Can you tell us straight? Yes, sir. Good morning, church. I remember when you came here when I told you about children. You shook your head. As if this man don't know what I'm passing through. Yeah. At that time, what were you passing through? Um, we came to this church, I and my wife, because we were watching VPA on TV. Um, and then we had issues. Pick loud. We, we had issues. And um, I told my wife, let's come to this church. When we came, we were looking at staying in the country. So that was the major thing that brought us here. Um, Stay in the country. Yeah, because of the testimonies we were hearing that was coming from the yes. church. But when we came to see daddy, he said, go and name your children on the altar. And I'm like, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> That's not what I came for. But the key thing is, when we came... Why were you not impressed? Because of what information they have had. Yeah. The wife is having... I don't know what they call them. <laughs> the wife has the same one. Yes. It's, it's, Abi? Yes, so my wife's blood genotype is AS, and um, before we came to England, I checked my genotype as well before we got married, and mine was AS as well. So, well, we've already started a journey, so there was, no, <laughs> there was no going back. So when daddy said we should name our children, we always just thought, well, if we're lucky to have one um, that doesn't have that, then we'll be very, very lucky. But it's something that used to burden our heart a lot. And when, when daddy said we should name our children, we did. But because that was not what we came for. But a few months after, to cut the short story, the long story short, my wife got pregnant. And because the process is that they need to I check. Appreciate God. And because the process is that we need to go to hospital, they need to check the genotype, and then that thing came up again. And when they checked hers, hers was AS. So they said, oh, they need to check your husband. Because if your husband is AS as well, then we, they need to start monitoring things and all of that. So when they checked my genotype, <laughs> and they said, if there is a problem, we'll contact you. But we didn't hear from them for like two weeks. And she went for another checkup. So when we went there, I said, We've not heard about this genotype business. So what's going on? So she said, okay, she will ask the, um, either the matron or whoever that was in charge. And they said, D are you sure you know what you're looking for on the records? We said, yes. So she checked. And lo and behold, my genotype had changed to AA. Shut Jesus! What can God not do? Shout Jesus! Jesus! Shout Great, the God of Pastor Alex. Go is a true and God. Uh, people are watching us, they can't wait to hear this miracle. Oh, we thank God. The testimony is that I got married before for nine and a half years, no issue. Three IVF cycles, nothing happened. In the end, we both got frustrated and the marriage ended. That was in 2011 when the marriage ended. So, 
we, I left the house and my work colleague invited me to um, Enough is Enough. So I came and I knew the power of God is here. So I stayed. I went. Shut Jesus! Jesus! After my deliverance, I kept coming because I know God is here. And at the right time, God brought me my husband now. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. And two and a half years into the marriage, that was 2016, we got pregnant. I didn't know I was pregnant. And thank God, behold, this is the child the Lord brought us. Hallelujah. Shout Jesus. Jesus. Church, you have heard people talking. You are about to talk your own. You have heard people talking about what Jesus has done. You are about to experience a touch that will make you to come out and testify. Church, Jesus. Church, this is just one service. 